They cried, they hugged, and tried to console one another tonight at a vigil in Queens honoring the memory of a pregnant mother and her unborn baby murdered. 29-year-old Vanessa Pierre's boyfriend arraigned in court today charged in their death. Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang spoke to the victim's best friend tonight. 29-year-old Vanessa Pierre, we're told, was a licensed practical nurse on Long Island who was six months pregnant. On Friday, as you can see in the surveillance video, her body was dumped on the sidewalk along Horace Harding Expressway in Bayside, Queens. <sighs> We're going to have to talk about it. We're going to have to talk about it. What we don't want to talk about. Pookie and Pookisha. Now, a lot of, I know a lot of y'all don't like that term, and I, I, can, I, I can hear the offense in it, but uh, let me state this real quick. I guess you called me educated. I'm a few steps away from having a PhD, Lord willing, um, working on it. But I got a definite history of selling drugs. If you wanted, I would get it. Usually the soft, but I could be called a drug dealer for some years around 1920. A few years after that. Uh, changed my life up. Went to college. Figured out I could do college. I couldn't believe that coming out of high school that I could actually do it. Once I started doing it, it just got easy. So now I'm on my way. And it changed my life where I, I don't have to sell drugs, right? It ain't, I ain't got a damn... A job where it's eight bucks an hour or go hustle or can't even get that eight dollar job an hour. It was rough when we was young and black males and there was no Internet. You had to walk in there and fill out an application. Tell my age. But still, even when I was in the streets, there were some lines we would not cross. There were civilians. We don't rob old ladies, people going to work. We don't rob other niggas in our own hood. That's what it's supposed to be. But that's not the way it is. So there is a difference between the the gangster and the gentleman, uh, the gangster and the and the pookie. Pookie don't give a fuck. Pookie and Pookisha, let me tell you, they don't give a fuck. Who they they, they don't give a fuck about? They don't give a fuck about anybody, and they especially don't give a fuck about themselves. They don't give a fuck about their kids. All they give a fuck about is a feeling. Feeling better than the next nigga. That's it. Why can't we talk about them? Well, Pookie and Pukisha is our cousins and our sisters and our brothers. Niggas, it's boosting the crime rate. Multiple children. Ain't taking care of their kids properly. Their kids can't even, they don't know their ABCs, but they know how to twerk. Ah, just, just, ah. Pookie and Pukisha. Why can't, why are they such a problem? Oh, only that's all y'all uppity niggas. Y'all just went to college and yada, 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 yada. No, no, you're a problem because you're dangerous. You got a problem with a nigga. A nigga ain't pay you back for some work or whatever. Whatever your problem is, catch him somewhere solo. Do that shit back in the back. Do a drug deal in a warehouse or some shit. Or, you know, don't, don't, don't. You got bullets flying all through the neighborhood, flying through people's grandmother's houses. You got bullets hitting kids. Y'all are dangerous. Pukisha, if Pukisha will fuck her best friend's man. I know. I've done it. I've hit my ex best friend. Pukisha don't give a fuck. Give a fuck about her kids. All she gives a fuck about is niggas looking at her and thinking that her body is going to get her to the next place. Pukisha is a fucking problem and you can't trust her. She will set a nigga up and she don't give a fuck. Only reason she had that kid was to trap that nigga and try to get a bag. She don't give a fuck. All black women are not like that. I had to tell people, even when I traveled across Africa, I had to tell people about that. Now, all our black women, I know it looks bad on, on the internet. It looks bad on TV, but all our black women are not like that. There's black women who are soft, educated, have beautiful smiles. Pukisha, not that you might not look over and see me in the strip club, but Pukisha, oh, you got to watch her. I don't care how good it looks. You cannot trust her. She is a ratchet. And she will fuck her best friend's man. She does not give a fuck about nothing. 
Now, while we just sit there and point the finger at our people and say, da 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 da, y'all, y'all niggas is fucked up. Y'all are the problem with the community, yada, yada, yada. I ain't got no kids. I got a job. I'm educated. I ain't out here boosting the crime rate. I ain't making, I ain't making a scene everywhere I go. I don't look like shit. I don't got tattoos all over my face, even though I sell drugs. I don't got tattoos all over my face. I'm not like y'all. Y'all are the problem. But we can't completely blame them because it's not all their fault. Let me go up the chain. They was raised like that. In the 70s and the 80s, black people, black America fell apart. It's a, it's a long story, but at times, some women took welfare over a husband and got them shitty ass cribs and started raising all these illegitimate children, which I am one of. And the men began running off on the kids, thinking that they pimps, and they got hooked on drugs real bad. And both the drugs and the separation of the family, that we actually had white women coming into the play, into your home telling you better not have no black man living in here. That white bitch got a trip. And y'all trust her? It wasn't all their fault. The government set us up to do that. And we dropped our guard, though. We dropped our guard down bad. The last generation fucked up bad. They failed us. Now, we ain't have to start shooting each other like that, but man, y'all didn't have to start running off, making babies all over the place, not getting married and having a party and doing drugs all crazy. But it was dumped on us by our enemies. We dropped our guard and that's what happened. Now, who's responsible for fixing this? Oh, them black women, they, they keep raising all these bastards, man. They little hell spawn. Some of them little niggas is the spawn of Satan and they some xenomorphs. Bust right out of your stomach. They ain't even birthed. The bust right out of your stomach and right into the hood shooting shit up. I'm being funny, but it's like that. There's niggas that was good niggas that hustle, get their money, whatever, did this, did that. You know what? And then there was these goddamn stick up kids that are just dumb as hell that you got to be ready to put a bullet in them. Thank God I never got laid down, but I had to have guns all over my, my mother's house. They start making you act like them. You get around them, you got to act like them. You got to be ready to beat their fucking ass. You got to be ready to beat a bitch's ass. You in college, you got a degree, you a lawyer, whatever. You step out in a club in Atlanta, you got to be ready to beat one of these bitches' asses. They crazy. They throwing bowling balls now. These bitches is crazy. Our enemies did that to us. But it's the black man. You have to fix this. It's us. It's us. That's whose responsibility. It's not us to cry and point at the woman regardless. It's our it's our responsibility to fix this thing. So how are we going to fix this thing while we just up here talking shit? What's the solution? All right. We got a, we got a zombie outbreak. Everybody's sick. These niggas is absolutely out of their mind. They're violent. And if we really did get in a situation where we're like the Haitians, where we're fighting for our freedom, fighting not to get exterminated like them Jews... We can't trust Pookie and Pukisha. Yes, the 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 Candace Owens, the Coon type, they will snitch on us and turn against us. But Pookie and Pukisha will sell us out just the same. It's the Coon mind. It's the mind that black people ain't shit. Niggas ain't shit. Don't call me brother. I ain't your brother. Fuck all that. We ain't in this together, nigga. I'm trying to get mine. It's it's that selfishness. It's all the same thing. That nigga virus, man. We had it in Africa before we even got here. Black people do not care for one another. They are selfish, materialistic, and just all around have a crab mentality. And unfortunately, it's not as bad as here, but it started in the motherland and it's all through the Caribbean and everywhere. We still got the same damn problem. We was doing all right for a minute. We was doing all right for a minute. We came up out of, out of, out of colonialism and, and slavery. We actually stood up for a minute, but now... <laughs> Especially in black America. We have to quarantine these niggas. They're sick. Am I saying put them all in cages? I hope not. Because a white man is definitely about to lay the hammer down on you niggas. He is about to lay the hammer down on you niggas. Worse than that 90s crime bill. We have to quarantine our own people. We have to have somewhere where they can go and be educated, rehabilitated. We got to meet them where they at. Out in the country. Let them stay in some dorms. And let them get educated. We got to put the young women on birth control. 
we got to handle this birth control head on. We had to have condoms free and we have to handle this thing head on. We can't have these early pregnancies. We can't have all this stress. We have to have some type of incentive to get married. We got to push for that. That housing becomes cheaper or something if it if it's if it gets married. We gotta we gotta do that ourselves though. But we gotta stop the pregnancies and we have to educate these people. I make too much money now to go sell drugs. I could I could if shit really really fell apart. I could go see my peoples and get whatever. Act like a bad comedian and hit me with a pie. I could go grab something, but I got I'm too educated and too skilled to do that. I could I could I could fix a computer. I could code software. I know how to do shit. You know what I mean. Even if I I can go back to landscaping, I know how to make brick walls and, and, and hook up your, I could hook your yard up. I could cook, make stuff from scratch. I've learned all this stuff through life to where I have my skill level so high. It wouldn't make sense to sell drugs, at least not that risk all that time for the hard drugs. No. But when you're unskilled and you ain't got no skill, you got to do what you got to do and you get good at it. And you realize these people, they actually, or people are not stupid. They're just misguided, and we got a lot of negativity around us. You live around Pookie and Pukisha, you're going to turn into them eventually. That shit spreads like a virus. We got to quarantine. We got to rehabilitate. We got to teach our own people. We need all... We know our, our, our HBCs up the HBCUs updated, and we could even do it online, but we got to we gotta educate our people. It's just the truth. We got to head it head on. Pookie and Pukisha or a motherfucking problem. And you can't hang with them. We ain't all in this together. It, 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 oh, this is this is old block, nigga. This block, block. Uh, no, 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 no. We ain't in this together. Yeah, me and my girls, we out and... No, we ain't in this together. She likes to fight when she goes out. She get a couple in here and she want to punch a motherfucker. That's because she had an abusive childhood. I'm going to say about... I'm being kind in this. 60, 70 percent of all black Americans are have been abused as children in some way or another. Now, you want to talk about that? Who's responsible for about that? Hey, y'all know what it is. We got to fix this problem. Until then, man, you you, you got it. Got to quarantine them niggas. Sometimes I go into the hood bar, but I don't be in the hood bar too late. I can't beat her too late because I know what's about to happen when a lot of y'all get around each other. I might beat her for an early brunch. I might be here and there, quick and out, but boom, I can't be around in the same places. But all these degenerates. And that doesn't mean because you're not educated or anything like that, that we ain't on the same level on some Jack and Jill shit. Because I hate uppity Negroes the same, but. When niggas have a lot of problems and a lot of inner pain and inner demons and it's on demon time, man, they just. You need to do something that you really didn't even have to do. That situation could have been de-escalated. You ain't have to do that. You ain't have to gun that man down and and, and you raid on camera, dumbass. But we got problem thinking. We got problems with our emotions. Why? We're, we've been abused and we don't have the understanding to deal with it. We have to quarantine. We have to cure and rehabilitate. But until then, God yourself, man. You got to stay away from these people, even if it's your own family. One.